In this video, we're going to talk about the graphs of equations, specifically about circles. If we're going to write uh, the equation of a circle in standard form, we need to know two pieces of information. We need to know the radius, which is the distance from the center of the circle to an end point, and we need to know the location of the center of the circle. Now, oddly enough, the center of the circle is not actually part of the circle, because the circle are the points that are all equidistant from the center. Um, so kind of like a little bit weird, but it's true. So the formula for uh, standard form for the equation of a circle is given by x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. So again, h, k is the coordinates of the center of the circle, and r is the radius. x and y are any uh, coordinates of a point that lie on the circle. OK. so. Here we want to state the center of the circle and the length of the radius when we're given the equations in standard form. Um, so here it says x minus 4, so that means that to, uh, indicates to us that h is 4. y minus 2 quantity squared, that indicates to us that k is 2. So we're going to say that the center of the circle lies at 4 comma 2. And then the radius, so this is the square of the radius, so the radius would be the square root of 25, which is 5. In letter B, we're told that uh, the equation is given by x plus 3 quantity squares. So that indicates to us that h is negative 3. That can be a little bit tricky, but the reason it's negative 3 is because it's x minus h. And a plus is a shorthand way of saying minus negative. So if we were to rewrite it so that we have subtraction, you can take any addition and rewrite it as subtraction by adding the opposite, just like we, we probably already knew that you could take any subtraction and rewrite it as addition by adding the opposite. The, the switching it also works. So we have the h, uh, sorry, the x coordinate of the center of the circle is negative 3, and the y, which we call k, is 6.2. So the center of this circle is located at negative 3 comma 6.2. And the radius of this circle is the square root of 30. The square root of 30 is just the square root of 30. Um, 30 doesn't have any perfect square factors except for 1, so we would just leave it like that. How do we determine whether a point lies on a circle or not? Well, what we would do is we would plug it in for x and y if we're given the equation and see if it makes a true statement. So we can plug it in for x and y. in the equation and see if we get a true statement or not in the equation. Let's look at some examples of that. Does the given point lie on the graph of the given circle? So we're given the circle first and then we're given the point second. So we're going to plug in 4 and 6 for x and y respectively and see if it works. So 4 minus 4 squared plus 6 minus 6 squared. Does that equal 49? Well, 4 minus 4 is 0. 6 minus 6 is 0. Does 0 equal 49? No, it does not. So that point does not lie on the circle. In fact, you might recognize that point. It, it is something special about that circle. It is the center of the circle. But as I mentioned before, the center of the circle is not a point that's actually on the circle itself. So that one would be a no. For letter B, we're going to plug in 4 for x and 1 for y. We have 4 minus 1 squared plus 1 plus 3 squared. Does that equal 25? 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 squared is 9. 1 plus 4 is, uh, sorry, 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 squared is 16. Does 9 plus 16 equal 25? Yes, it does. So that means that 4, 1 is on the circle given by this equation.